Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Well, I just wanted to touch base with you today and show you some products I got. I just got my hair done and uh, a couple of you had asked me to um, talk about um, how I do my hair. And that's very flattering to me because I don't have much hair, but she styled my hair today. And I'll tell you something that, um, that I've learned. When they, or when you, um, I said, should I flat iron my hair straight and just see, you know, how that looks? She, it looks. And she said, no. She said, your hair is too fine. And with all the blonde, all those highlights that you put on your hair, especially when they're brand new like this, it very much dries out your hair. And you don't want to put that kind of ironing heat onto it. So she said, no, absolutely not. But what you can do to straighten it, because she did kind of a straighten and kind of pull in, is one of those big, like one of your big round brushes. And you can get those at the grocery store. Um, Goodies has them. There's a lot, you know, back in the makeup section and all the skincare and all that kind of stuff. You can go a little further back and most grocery stores, they'll have an area for hair um, products. And then usually across from that or on the same road, they'll have um, hair tools. So they have everything from curling irons to hair brushes and hair bows and um, all that kind of stuff. So what she does is she pulls, you know, as she's drying it, she pulls it up and out, up and out as she rolls it inward. And that just kind of gives it body when she pulls it up and out. But it also straightens it because it's such a big round roller. The smaller the roller gets, the curlier your hair gets. So like when I did that style the other day that y'all were asking about, where I flipped them all back, which is kind of the modern look right now, um, that's just taking a smaller, about that big a round brush, and just taking small pieces like this much and just rolling it backward, like rolling it away from your face and then just pulling it down. This is just rolling it inward like that. And then also, you can use products to make it a little more PC and it looks a little more modern and flattering. One of the things I got after she styled my hair today, you know, they always have, salons have packages now that you can buy. And that, I'm sure that makes them money because this is a Redken salon. So I got this one today only because when you buy them like this, it's actually cheaper than if you bought them separate. And it, this is called Toast. And it's to texture and volumize your hair. And inside it's got the Triple Dry 15, which is a texture finishing spray, medium hold. And what that does is you just like spray the ends and kind of pull on them. And it kind of actually pulls them together so they look a little more spiky. And instead of rolling them in, you just pull straight down. It just kind of makes it look more spiky because the way that she rolled it, it's going to go in anyway. And then also Triple Take 32, which is a very hard hold, high hold, zero gravity, um but it's not crunchy hairspray and uh, so that's what's in here and I am going to use both of them right in front of you I love this sparkle box is that so pretty I think that's so pretty I love sparkles anyway but something about silver sparkles even silver Christmas trees I've always liked those even though I'm kind of a red and gold Christmas tree I do like the other all right so I don't have a candle going on purpose because I knew I would be spraying this because obviously these are highly flammable you should never ever ever spray any kind of aerosol spray anywhere close even in the same room as a candle I've done it before but it's extremely dangerous you shouldn't you shouldn't so I definitely wasn't gonna do that today instead of bad example but I feel like she did a good blowout job on my hair I do not have any of my filler which is my Madison Reed that covers this kind of fleshy tone color um, in my part so that it doesn't look like I'm balding so bad and I have purposely not put that in yet So you can kind of see because you'll see after I do the difference it makes I think I've had another mm -hmm. video where um, I Actually put it in and showed it to you. So um, Anyway, this is the triple dry 15 and what's interesting also is the nozzles on these two uh, triple products the reason it's called triple is as triple look three little sprays Instead of one spray coming out, it's three little sprays coming out. And the only thing about it is you have to kind of long arm it because it's like a jet when it comes out. So I'm just going to do kind of the ends. I'm going to do one side at a time. And I'm just going to kind of make it PC. It's all I'm doing right here. Okay, I'm just making the ends a little more PC. That's the only point of me using this product this time. Just these. All you do is pull the ends of your hair into a clump. Because you're trying to, instead of spreading it out where it looks more fancy, how that's like piece, piece, piece. That's what I mean by piecey. <laughs> you see how that kind of is strong? It blew it out. It literally blew it away from me. Now see, it's getting a round look. Pull straight down so you don't get that round look. 
looks a little more modern when you do that. And then the bottom pieces are kind of flipping out. I'm going to let them do that because I kind of like that this is coming in and the bottom is flipping out. Matter of fact, I think I'll even kind of flop them up a little bit like that. And then I'm coming from the back to do this. And I'm almost like scrunching it since I can't really see to see the pieces coming forward. All right, so once I've got that done, then I'm going to use this other spray, and this is called Triple Take 32. This is a very hard-holding hairspray, hair but it's not super, um, what's the word? It's not gluey hard, you know what I mean? So I am going to go ahead, again, I'm staying away from the crown because I am going to go back in and fill that in. But I am going to go ahead and get from about here down so that I can get some a rise out of it, okay? Like that, pushing it up. See how it makes it look fuller? It looks a little fuller on that side because I did that. But I still got my little pieces. It's just giving it some, some volume, lifting it up. But not right in here where I will need to make some changes on styling. Again, at the bottom, I'm going to just flop, just come under it and flop it up like that. So it will curl up underneath. Like that. There you go. It just kind of gives it a little bit of, um, I'm going to go on the back a little bit and just kind of fluff it up a little bit. Because I'm not going to actually make a pooch crown. I'm just going to kind of go straight across and push it up and then go down and just kind of fluff it up. And see how it just gives a little bit of volume, but it's still kind of modern and PC looking. Let me keep my little pieces separate. My temptation is to pull it all together, and that's not what you're supposed to do. Now I'm going to spray this front area, so we'll kind of hold it and leave it alone, let it dry. And then once it dries, it should stay, just should stay. Again, I didn't move my bangs because I'm going to make a little cleaner part and do my fill-in. So that's what these two products are. And I just thought y'all would want to know little answer on how I do my hair and I think she did a great job of doing my hair. I mainly did you know the color touch up at the root because it was like that much gray and then I did the um I had to go ahead and add back some uh, highlights because it was getting too um dark gray looking is what it was doing. I just noticed that these glasses are more round but these are the ones which I do like but these are the ones that flash back. See how they're flashing the lights back so you can even see my eyes until I look down then you can see them. Anyway, I feel like she did a really good job. I like it. And I just thought I'd show it to you guys. So anyway, that's it. That's all I had to show you today. And um, I'm fixing to upload the, um, I'm fixing to do the um, daily devotional, which we have started on the Beth Buchanan Pure Bible channel. So be sure to please, 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 if you like my channels, like the videos and then subscribe and then always go oh, and turn on the little bell so that when I do, upload a video, you know it, and then go over to the Beth Buchanan Pure Bible and make sure you like those videos if you like them and subscribe to that channel and turn that little button on so that you'll see when my uh, daily devotionals come up, okay? Anyway, I love you guys so much and I appreciate your support and I just, I love my YouTube life with you guys, so. And I'm also going to go powder my nose. <laughs> Not my nose. Actually, you know what's so funny? When we get a little sweaty and shiny, that's what you end up putting product for to look like. And then yet, then when we do that, we put on a mattifying product to hide it. Why are we like that? I think I'm not going to do anything. Just the way my face is today and the way I'm leaving it. Love you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, 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 bye.